Well, he says he's just a nice country boy at heart, but get him on the football field, and Spencer Hadley turns into one of BYU's fiercest linebackers. His toughness comes from working long hours on the family dairy farm. BYU TV's Kathy Aiken takes us to Washington State for Spencer's return to the farm. Nearly 200 miles southeast of Seattle in Connell, Washington, the Clyde and Hadley Dairy Farm comes to life, a 500-acre farm and lifelong home of BYU linebacker Spencer Hadley. This is the real me, you know, the, 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 the cowboy in me, I guess, the, the country boy. Life for this country boy, as well as his seven siblings, was filled with hard work on the farm, a lesson they learned early on. We have beef cattle, we have dairy cows, we've got sheep. And so different chores kind of arise at different times. Okay, so my favorite part uh, was working with the horses with the beef cattle. We'd brand them, we'd dehorn them, castrate them. There's a strong correlation between what I've learned as far as family, importance of family and importance of teamwork here on the farm and how it relates to a team and, and, uh, and the football field. On the football field, Hadley has become one of BYU's top linebackers. His work ethic followed him from the farm in Connell to the football field in Provo. I think we have every chance, uh, every opportunity to be as good, if not better, than we were last year. We're extremely talented across the board. It's up to us how good we want to be. And, and I think we have the talent and the ability to be, to be the best defense in the country. Many believe Hadley has the talent to make it in the NFL next season. And while Kyle Van Noy may get most of the attention, the 6'1", 230-pound linebacker is making a name for himself. I believe in myself. Always had a desire to play in the NFL. I think about it a little bit, and, and it's exciting to think about, to, to even be in the conversation, to have a chance to play in the NFL is like a dream come true. A dream first hatched in Little League, then high school as a running back and defensive back. A dream that continues today as he begins his final year in Cougar Blue. And no matter what happens with that dream, this country boy will always have the family farm to go home to. I'm Kathy Aiken, BYU TV Sports. And Kathy's back from the farm and in our <laughs> studios. Good to have you here. What was it like over there on the... Hadley Farm. Actually, I didn't go. We hired a freelance photographer. You're smart. I, yeah, yeah, I would have loved to have gone. I'm just not a real country girl, I guess. So. This guy is, uh, Van Noy gets a lot of the headlines, uh, but Hadley does a lot of the work. People forget in that bowl game, Hadley was sacking that Aztec quarterback for a safety when he threw the pick to Van Noy, who took it in for a touchdown. And, you know, you talk to Spencer about that, the attention that Van Noy gets doesn't bother him at all. He knows he's just right behind him. Even Bronco Mendenhall mentioned when the NFL scouts talk about Van Noy, Spencer's not too far behind. He's got the Magnum PI mustache coming back. Not in that <laughs> interview, but but it's back over at camp. And is it going to stay with us all season? Sounds a good way to put it, Dave. I haven't heard that name in quite some time. Yeah. It actually started in 2011 before the Armed Forces Bowl. He and Ogletree decided to grow mustaches. As you saw in the uh, interview, he shaved it. But it is back in full force and ready for the senior season. He's on the Butkus watch list for the nation's best linebacker, which is significant considering all the attention that Van Noy is getting on all the All-American lists. What kind of season do you think Hadley can have? You know, he's really confident in himself. He told us that he believes in himself. He always has. And I think that's going to be key for his senior season. He says the great thing is that they all play together. Those linebackers, they know where each other's going to be and where each other's going to go. And I think for him, he's ready for a real great season and hopefully headed for the NFL. If he doesn't get to the NFL, is he going back to the farm? You know, he was asked that question. He said he wants to scream no. That is his answer right now. <laughs> he wants to be a physical therapist, but he also said never say never. All right, we'll see you on the sidelines with okay. us for our broadcast this season. Kathy Aiken, thank you.